man, it's great seeing you. You know, Thank last you. time I saw you was, of course, at the Juno's red carpet, the bustle, everything was going on. <laughs> yeah. It was crazy. You've been busy, my friend, with new music. Congratulations on that. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's an exciting time. Anytime you anytime you do a new record, it's, uh, it's very exciting and, you know, scary. You're putting new product out into the world, but I, I'm really thrilled with it. It's great. Okay, now uh, just get me if I'm wrong. Uh, today... Is it today that the single is out right now? Or? Yes. Yes. yes, Paid My Dues, a new brand new video came out today. So uh, all the you know excitement around that uh, new video is great. People can check it out online. I haven't had a chance to see it though, man. I just heard about the announcement. What's the video like? We wanted the video to be sort of um, a bit of an overview of my entire career, which is kind of goes with the song Paid My Dues. So uh, Dave King is a director. He also produced my latest record. And he had this great idea. He said, man, I want to put in old pictures of when you started. So there's some pictures in there that makes me go, whoa, that was, that was a little while ago. But no, and the, and the idea, we did it in Hamilton. We recorded it at uh, a nice little neighborhood bar, uh, the West Town on Lock Street, very close to where I live. And we wanted it to have that feel about it. And uh, in the end, that's how it feels. It's, it's very cool. So look at this, man. You've got a new album. You've got a new single. You've got a video out. Hamilton's going to the CFL finals. Yes! This has got to be a great week for you, man. I was so excited on Sunday watching that game. I mean, I just, I, I'm not going to lie. I put some feelers out there saying, hey, Calgary, I think you need a band from Hamilton out in Calgary now. So <laughs> it's a really exciting time in Hamilton. Great stuff is happening all over the city. It's been like that for, for quite a while now. But the Thai Cats going to the Grey Cup, that's, uh, that's like the icing on the cake. <laughs> Definitely, man. But the true icing is your album. Look, from the last time we spoke, um, what were the changes? What were the things that you were going on? You kind of talked about the video, and I'm assuming, is that sort of like the theme on this album, sort of going back to the roots and really showing people your history of music? Yeah, we wanted to make a record that was uh, very much like what the band sounds li live, you know, versus more of a studio sounding record. So um, I actually had, you know, great things happen earlier in the year. I went down to Memphis and I won Best Guitar Player at the International Blues Challenge in the Solo Duo category. Congratulations. Thank you. And then because of that, I said, well, I'm going to stick around for a little bit. And some some people I, I met in Nashville, uh, friends of Dave King's, they were like, so what are you doing? So anyway, it, it all it was a very organic process. Half the record was recorded in Nashville. The other half was done in Hamilton. I've got some killer, killer musicians on it. Oddly Freed from the Black Crows and from Cheryl Crows playing guitar on six of the tracks. Pat Sansone from Wilco's on it. James Haggerty, uh, he's playing Ooh. bass on it. So... Um, and Dave King's playing drums, Jesse O'Brien's playing piano, so it's a, it's a pretty serious cast of characters on there. I was going to say, man, how raw does this sound, man? It's really great, and, you know, I think part of the challenge for, for Dave as, as a producer was to make sure that the stuff we recorded in the studio in Nashville was still coherent with the stuff we did in Hamilton, and uh, he did an absolutely fantastic job. You know, it sounds like even though, you know, we are talking about this era, and we're talking about, you know, the way you can record things and stuff like that, it sounds like you guys, though, did it sort of like old school, too. It's not so much as recording an album, but almost like just live sessions, and you just happened to hit the record button. Yeah, that's how we wanted it to feel. Um, we did some of, some of the takes are literally like live vocal, uh, very limited overdubs on on the whole band really. And then when we came back home, if there was a few things that were bugging us here or there, we we did that. But we wanted that feel to sound like a live kind of a feeling record, right? And that's I think that's what we ended up getting. Oh my goodness, it sounds great. Oh, you know, we didn't even talk. What's the name of the album? It's called Tired of Talking. Why that name? Um, you know, it's I, there's one of the tunes on there. The the first track on the record's called "Tired of Talking," but it's also a bit of a, um, a bit of a statement just about you know just let the music do the talking. I, I don't want to be. A, I, it's kind of like a show me, don't tell me kind of thing, you know. So I, that that was basically the idea with it, and uh, that's you know I, I think it's a pretty cool thing. It's got the cover is me sitting on lying on the couch. <laughs> clearly not talking so <laughs> it's uh it's a cool thing i like it now we mentioned about the video is called paid my dues paid my dues okay yeah. and then we talked about you know it's a history musically and stuff like that too yeah. but vocally though mm -hmm. what was the message that you wanted to uh, pass along the fans uh you mean like lyric wise yeah. <sighs> each song there's 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 a lot of you know different kind of material on the record and that's partly because that's what I love to do so the message is they you know it's it's a pretty wide kind of thing but you know paid my dues that kind of an idea as I've been doing this a long time this is my seventh full release so it's kind of like you know seven albums in I'm still doing it and you know the, the most important thing too is I'm still loving it like I, I, I love what I do and 
you know, there's peaks and valleys to, to everything in the music business these days, but you just, you do it because you love it. That's why you're, you're doing anything, right? I'm going to ask, okay, seven albums, how many years are we looking at? For me, since I came out as Steve Strongman, yeah. the artist, that was in 2006. So we're, we're looking at almost 14 years here. You are busy, man. So technically yeah. t- an album every two years. That's kind of the cycle that we've been doing. We've been doing a record every couple of years, and then we get touring and, and doing all that. And uh, that's really the cornerstone of what it is that I do. I still view everything I want to do is all for that time that you get on the stage. Speaking of touring, man, Toronto's got a bonus. They got an early Christmas uh, present from you. What's going on? Yes, Wednesday, the 27th of November, I'm going to be at Hughes Room in Toronto with my band. I love playing Hughes Room. I've done it in the past. And it's literally one of the best sounding rooms in the country. I, I, I truly believe that. So it's great to get a chance to go back. That is going to be so cool. 2020, what are we looking at for the rest of the year? Uh, I'm doing some stuff, uh, some touring in uh, in Quebec in December, and then moving moving into another touring cycle. There's going to be a Western Canada swing that we're doing. I think that's probably going to be in May. Uh, and then before then, uh, I'm going to be at the NAMM show in California with uh, my friends at Gibson Guitars. I'm going to be there doing that. So it's there's lots of really interesting stuff, and, and tour dates are coming in like literally every week now. Before we go, though, we are talking about the Christmas holiday season happening, man. What's your favorite Christmas or holiday memory? Whether it be a gift or something happened, what was your favorite? Oh, my goodness. I don't know if, that, if I could pick a favorite. Uh, you know, honestly... I have two beautiful kids at home, my wife and I have two kids, so Christmas is, it's really kind of all about them. So, man, those Christmas mornings when my kids wake up and and open up presents, I could pick any one of those as as my favorite things. That's really what it's all about. It's amazing and hope, you know, it's nice that I get a chance to try and and, and be home for all those all the time. Just curious, do you give them any like toy instruments for Christmas? I I give them real instruments. (laughs) <laughs> no, I do. I more often than not, my wife and I, we've got uh, really nice guitars and uh, for the girls, and most likely uh, I, I take them away and put them down in my studio, and I start playing there. But they, they both love music. They're really into it. So, yeah. I love it, man. Okay, so social media, to know what's going on with you in 2020, and, yeah. of course, if people want more information on Hughes Room or anywhere else, where do we go to find you? Best thing to do is go to stevestrongman.com. Everybody can see what's happening there. I'm, I'm on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. They can go on my, my music page on Facebook. Everything, all activity goes through there. So please go there, like it, share, do all the following, do all the social stuff. I'm a lot more active on it now than I've ever been. So I'm having fun with it, too. I love it, man. Okay, well, look, if I don't get a chance to see you, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, all the best. Definitely see you in 2020, man. Absolutely, Rudy. Thanks for having me on again.